Wonderful level guys, welcome back to another episode here on our channel. It is Saturday morning here in Samoa. Um, special fatal of to our Inga members. I'm just uh, getting ready now to head to a pier. Um, it's about 5.30 now. Uh, all the public servants are required to um, got a cleaning day today in the in the town um, in the pier so we have to head um, which is why I'm heading to a pier early um, so it begins at 6 o'clock this morning and up all the way up to 9 p uh, 9 p.m. 9 a.m. so yeah still haven't gotten my coffee in still half asleep but uh, yeah guys looking forward uh, today and then uh, probably after the cleanup in the city um, we'll come back uh, and then do back to our farm chores but I thought I might as well catch make some content on the uh, cleanup today um, by the public servants of the government um, in preparation for Chogum which is I think one week away now I might be wrong but it's on the 21st so someone cross check the date for me because I am still not up to date with any date it's been a week now since dad passed away um, no not since he passed away since dad was uh, laid to rest um, and uh, yeah uh, not feeling 100% but I do feel like 95% so 95% will do to keep us going um, pretty sure he'll be watching over us but yeah guys no need to be sad it's time to move on and uh, make him proud but yeah guys um, we're just gonna wait for the car to heat up a bit um, get the oils hot and then uh, we'll head to up here hope you guys enjoy today's content be sure to like comment subscribe share our channel we'll definitely catch you guys soon Before we head uh, to where we're located, um, which our designated area we will be cleaning up today, um, which is the beachfront, the main beach road uh, towards the seawall. I need to buy some socks. My damn puppies ate my socks, so um, I need to go buy some socks first. nice Friday night <laughs> alright guys so um, none of the shops are opened yet I'm mostly looking at the Chinese shops because uh, they've got everything inside their shops uh, but unfortunately it's a little after 6 in the morning now and most of the Chinese shops um, that I've come across have still closed so yeah maybe uh, go no socks I don't like that, but uh, yeah, it's because I need to uh, wear my boots, protect my feet. Uh, but I yeah, guess we could go uh, without socks.
Alright guys, just arrived at our location, so we're gonna head out and help out the other team. And I'll catch you guys soon. Alright guys, so our area is this water beach frontier all the way I think up to Sheraton Hotel, which is around here, all the way to that hotel in the far end. <laughs> so what's going on is that we've got multiple uh, government uh, agencies and uh, ministries covering the whole town area we're located here in front of the police station uh, fire station heading towards Sheraton Hotel so we've been using the broom and what we've been doing is just sweeping all the um, leaves and twigs um, towards the drain so see there there's a drain there um, so we've been doing that for the past seven drains and then uh, sweeping it there and then we'll pick up the the rubbish um, but uh, the rest of the sediment will be uh, swept onto the um, which will then carry it into the sand sediment um, yeah so win-win but yeah gotta keep sweeping All right, we've got two more drains. It's this one and that one down there. Uh, tired already. That view. What a view. Huh? Hi, man. <laughs> Last pile. So we've just uh, finished the cleanup, uh, our section only. I um, think I'm just going to head to uh, my mother's place, Fangali, and just check on the kids because we've left uh, the kids with her. And then we'll head back to Kwa. Already feeling tired. Feeling very tired.
Alright guys, so I was about to head home but I needed to do some stuff here at the office so I'll probably be here for another hour or two and then I'll go head home. Alright guys, so um, here at Fangali now, the parents and the kids, my mom and the kids, uh, just gonna rest for a bit and then uh, we'll head back to Pua later on in the day. Need to get some stuff for some taro um, and then we'll check out the cows as well. If you mean oh my Oh no, young Adi, why you move by your father? Okay, was was pretending to be asleep, um, and uh, my daughter woke me up for my pies. I like the pies from Lynn, they're nice custard pies. So I'm just gonna have them. Up. Oh, not to mention, forgot to mention, tomorrow's White Sunday. And uh, just monitoring my online banking and seeing the balance go down, 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 down. I'm broke, I'm broke. Alright guys, uh, we're gonna hit to Kwa now. Uh, took a bit longer than expected here um, at mom's house, but uh, I need to go get some taro as well. We'll see man, it's just the uh, food tomorrow is just a bit uh, heavy on my mind. Um, so, especially the umu and stuff, so might do a saka, might do a umu, depends tomorrow. Um, but I need to head Kwa and uh, also check on the cows as well. It's been a long time, but yeah, catch you guys when we get there. All right, guys, so just on my way to Gua, if you guys can see in the background there, um, it's a woman and her son. So I was on my way to Gua, I'm in a rush at the moment, um, so I can get to Gua before the sun goes down. But uh, this elderly lady and her son uh, were actually. Um, you know looking for a ride on the side of the road um, so I thought you know despite an inconvenient stop um, it's always good to it's always good to help out um, you know people who need help especially you know on my on the drive a long way to climb in mean, you know probably be late by five to ten minutes but that's okay always make time for people in need of help so yeah guys All right, guys. So we're on our way to Guana. If you guys can see me, uh, I'm sorry. The lighting is very bad at the moment. But yeah, um, you know, when we used to live in a pier, um, we'd always used to travel to Gua, and uh, you know, it was a usual thing to pick up people on the way and give them a lift. Um, I see my parents do it. I see my brothers do it. And I remember when I was a little kid, um, you know, in uh, Fale Alili, every day after school, I'd have to walk home in the hot uh, road. I'd always like a chance. Uh, I always try and, you know, find a lift as well myself. So I uh, understand what people are going through. But yeah, I'm going to go to Kwa now. I think we can make up the probably two minutes, three minutes that we lost. But, you know, no worries. Skies ain't coming, turning all the clouds gray. Baby, I can see a storm warning. I'm boarding all the windows up today. And the ghosts have been calling. You don't hear a word they say, so let me do all the talking. I'll keep your troubles at bay, cause it's you and me till the end of the line. You and me sparking like crossed wires When I see you move through a certain light I tend to lose my mind It's you 
you and me Till they say last call It's you and me Alright hey guys, just arrived at home I need to grab my sepillo And uh, look for a bag to get the taro Then we'll head off to the cattle farm Uh, Alright guys, so I don't think we'll be heading off to the cattle farm. Um, so that's better. don't think we'll be heading off to the cattle farm today. Um, and the plantation to get tar because Uncle already said he's already brought tar um, for the food tomorrow. So let's go check. Alright, that's enough tar for tomorrow. Very nice tar. I guess uh, pretty much sorted then. Um, but I still need to check on the cows, so we'll, we're gonna send in the drone um, to check up on the cows and then I will get back. When I see you move through a certain light, I tend to lose my mind. It's you and me. Till they see last call, it's you and me. Gonna risk it all. Hand on the wheel right by your side. Hold on to the Sparking like cross wires When I see you move through a certain light I tend to lose my mind It's you and me Till they say last call It's you and me guys so as you saw there um, sent the drone into the cattle farm uh, everything looks good saw the cows also checked up on the plantation um, no signs of theft so far unless they're stealing at night but yeah guys um, it's been a quite a busy day um, looking to just relax for a bit but I hope you guys enjoyed today's content um, uh, now that most of the busy um, you know preps and stuff that we were busy with is finally over I'm gonna start uh, focusing back on making our content, but also Just a lot more educational content. So I've got some great things um, Looking to do also. I'd like to we're gonna restart our podcast as well um, Special guest on the podcast well special to me um, but uh, we'll also look at uh, some of the content um, that I've been planning to do that's been on hold for quite a while now. So yeah, got a lot of things coming up guys And I hope you're excited as much as I am um, To get our channel back up and running again. So yeah guys uh, Preparing now for tomorrow. I think tomorrow we will be tomorrow's white Sunday here in Samoa So we will be having white Sunday uh, With my mom and the kids in a pier. So I think most of the food prep will be taking place in a pier uh, if I have to help out then I will once we get there, but um, I'll probably just prepare a sucker tomorrow, so um, hope you guys enjoy the content tomorrow then. But uh, if you've enjoyed today's content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share our channel, guys. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Everyone here in the family appreciate it. Really excited now. We'll definitely catch you guys on our next episode. But until then, God bless. Take care. Stay safe. See you guys soon.